The Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, says ongoing recapitalization of banks by the Central Bank of Nigeria will provide the banking industry with uh, more funds to lend to the real sector, now thereby to raise an economic growth. CIBN President Professor Pius DG Olarinwaju announced this in Lagos while speaking about the upcoming 17th annual CIBN Banking and Finance Conference themed at the rated economic growth and development, the state of play and the way forward. Professor Larry Wajo explained that data, the growth of the nation's economy is a collective responsibility, requiring the participation of all stakeholders. He acknowledged the Japa syndrome among the youth are seeking green pastures, but noted that the banking industry is working to develop a pool of funds for human capacity building. Oliver Alauba, the chairman of the conference consultative committee, stated that our uh, submissions and discussions at the conference will be given due attention to achieve the goals set by the conference team. We have looked at the issue, we carried out a research on the issue of people japalizing, leaving the country to the others. We can't arrest, it's very difficult for you to come to the policy to tell somebody not to go and school abroad. They will go to school and they will not come back, there's nothing you can do. We now look at how can this be resolved. What we have done on our own is that we are now saying that instead of people going away, let us try as much as possible to have a place where when the talents are going, then we create more talent. So one of, some of them will go away. And even when they go away, remember that we in Africa, we have cultural affiliation with our people. When they go there, they send funds home. You know, like I said the other time, you find out that a lot of money are coming from the diaspora into the system. It will help the system. Then if those people should leave, then we have a replacement. And that is what Uma Capital School is focusing and is about to do. And we are going to implement it. We are intentional about it. And we we'll bring it to reality. God's grace. Our recommendation on every aspect of the economy, and I can assure you, we're also going to follow up. That's what we have to do. You know how to do to ensure that people that have a sensibility that uh, in, in any any aspect of that complex, and that is why we are getting all the government people to come. Want the president to be there, want the vice president to be there, and we are getting all many state governments. Some of them have confirmed that they don't. So if they are, they are there and they listen to us, then they will need to implement those from here when they come to them. So I can assure you, uh, we are not just here in Ghana to talk, nobody wants to do that, but we are really committed to moving the country forward and moving the country. It's affecting everyone. Is there anyone who is not appreciated yet? So we are going to make sure, we are going to ensure that we are going to come to them. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.